Okay, so uh, I here have a 63 quart refrigerator from DFG Off Road. It's huge, I know, and I can't wait to fill it up with some good stuff and take it on a trip. But I'm doing my initial testing. Now, I am going to hardwire this into my fuse panel. Don't look at that mess of wires, guys. But right now, I'm just using the 12-volt um, the, uh, outlet, the socket that I've already got back here. And I'm going to see how long it takes to get down to the temperature I'm looking for. I set the freezer to negative 4, and I set the fridge to 34 degrees. And we're going to see if... I can keep an ice cream bar frozen. So we're going to see what happens. I also want to see how long it will take to drain my battery. I'm just going to leave the rear battery on all the time to see what's going to happen. So I'll come back in a little while and show you where we're at. Okay, just an update. It's been about an hour and five minutes. And fridge is down to 30, which is a little bit concerning because I set it on 34 and the freezer is down to five degrees, four degrees. I've got that one set to negative four, so we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, this thing will function differently when it's full of food, and really, if you fill it up with cool food and then turn it on, it's gonna cool down even quicker, but um, I gotta get that figured out. It's cooler than I want it to be. I don't want my food to freeze. I do want the stuff in the freezer to freeze, and let's check on my ice cream pop i haven't got my slide installed yet so i just had this thing leaning out hard as a rock so i'm going to leave this thing on to see how long it takes to drain my battery took a quick break to come out and check on the fridge for a second um it is chilling like nobody's business 23 degrees in the fridge zero degrees in the freezer that fridge is, I gotta set it higher. You'll see here, if I press this button, I've got it set to 36, but it's cooling down to 23, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, I mean, I can set it, let's put it up to 45, which is not what I want our fridge to be set at, but we're gonna try that and see what it actually what happens to it you know if it will warm up to a temperature that's not below freezing so we'll see okay one other check it's now the end of the day it's just a few minutes before five o'clock um so the freezer is down to four degrees right there and the fridge is at 39 degrees but remember earlier when i had it set on 34 it was on 23 and so right now I've got it set on 45 and it's at 39. So I'm gonna have to play with that. And once I get food in it, it will act differently, I'm confident. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. Also, um, there's an app that goes along with this and I just installed it today so I can monitor this better. The fridge actually tracks the status of the battery that I've got it plugged into. So that's pretty cool. And on the app, it tells me that I have 71% of my battery left and I've almost had this thing plugged up for 24 hours and my battery recharges when I crank up the engine and go somewhere which I have not done today so um, interesting that I only used about let's just assume I was at 90% you know even if I was at 100% I used 30% of my battery in one day of sitting still so my solar panel or just driving around would charge that back up quickly and allow this to continue to be used all the time, which I plan on doing. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to leave it plugged up all the time, but, um, you know, if I'm on a trip, I'll have it plugged up all the time because I have to have my food continually cooled. So, anyway, so far impressed with this. If you need a fridge like this, you know, it's not just for people who go off-roading or go camping you know if you make regular trips to a costco or a sam's that's a couple hours from your home um you know something like this could be useful to you or you know there's a favorite grocery store that you like to go to when you're out of town this could be your thing you don't need to worry about ice nothing's going to get wet it just continues to chill just like your fridge and freezer at home would okay so this is day three um negative three degrees in the freezer 31 degrees in the fridge and again i've got it set on let's see 
45 and it's 31 degrees in there so still gotta get that figured out but still i'm impressed with this according to the app i'm still at uh 68 battery and if you look at the little battery icon there it's um, a little bit over the halfway there's five little bars that it can show and it's it's still showing three full bars so interesting okay Okay, so this is day number three, yeah, of um, testing out this fridge, and uh, I just opened it, and the temperature changed for a minute, but still, eight degrees Fahrenheit on the freezer, and 42 on the fridge. Now, I moved this thing up to 46 because it was below freezing temperatures in the fridge, and I needed to fix that. So I said, well, I need to set it differently. So right now I've got it set on 40. Okay, so this is day four, running my fridge off of my battery. Uh, I did crank up the engine and go somewhere for 10 minutes, but that was just very briefly. So my battery has not been able to get recharged and that's what I wanted to test out. But today you'll notice the indicator, I'm trying to block some sun, says the battery is zero and f1 i gotta have to look up and see what that means the fridge i think is just cut off to try to preserve the cooling in the freezer which is now at 43 44 degrees i checked my little ice cream ice cream bar it's still hard but it's not going to last that way for long so this is very instructive um this thing ran four days without any kind of recharge and now it needs to be recharged. So again, a solar panel trickling energy into this thing uh, would help. Also, a cooler full of cold food and a freezer full of cold food would be more efficient. Air is the is your worst enemy in a cooler or in a refrigerator. So, um, you know, having it full of cold food is better. Let me show you what my battery indicator says. Right here. This is just a little simple voltmeter. Instead of reading 12, uh, it reads 9.91, if you can make that out. So definitely, battery's almost drained. And this is a 130 amp hour AGM battery, and it's fantastic, and you know, it's done its job well. It's just out of juice at this point.